Hey y'all, out here at uh, World of Wheels 2013 in Chattanooga, and uh, I got a really cool uh, 35 Ford tow truck. Yeah, I know, that's what you're saying, right? A tow truck, Scotty? Come on, man, show us a hot rod. I think y'all are going to like this. Uh, Joel from Fountain City Wrecker, he's, he's got a big wrecker service in Knoxville. He owns it, and uh, anyways, let me run him down, and I'll have him tell us a little bit about it. Joel, how are you, brother? Doing fine, Scotty. How you doing? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about uh, your hot rod. Well, it's a 1935 Ford tow truck. Uh, we custom built it, and uh, I'm in the towing business, and uh, I just decided we need to, something kind of showcase our company. No, that's a good idea. I mean, it's uh, it's got to work well for you, right? Sure does. I mean, you know, obviously people with cars that are that they care about, I'd call Fountain City now because it's like you all understand caring about a car. You're just not going to send somebody out there to throw it on the back of a hook and drag it in, right? That's correct. Cool. Well, how long have you had the truck? I've had the truck about 15 years. It's been done about four years now, and we've had it all over the country. What motor are you running in it? It's a 302 Ford. Good. Boy, I was hoping, fingers crossed, you didn't say it had a Chevy in it. Ford and a Ford. That's what you got to have. You got to keep manufacturer correct anymore. That's correct. Yeah, it used to be everybody put small blocks of Chevys and everything, but now people expect that somebody create motors and stuff out there that, hey, look, you got a Ford, put a Ford in it, you know? Cool. And then the, the color is your company color. What is that? Uh, this is actually a Harley color. It's this mystic green. And come on Harley motorcycle. And all my trucks are green. They're not necessarily this green, but they're all green, so. Yeah, I apologize about it. From the eye, from seeing them on the street, I thought they were pretty close to that. But, yeah, man, that's beautiful. You did all the work yourself? I did not. Uh, I've had lots of help from had a, a, a builder do a lot of it, and then of course someone's painted it, and several of them's painted on it, and upholstered on it, and there's been lots of help. Right. Man, I love that the way you did that. It's not gold leaf. What is that? Silver, Silver leaf. Silver leaf. Yeah. How long y'all been in the record business? Since 1945. My dad started in 1945, and I've actively been in it about 40 years. And uh, he passed away about two years ago, but he didn't get to see it finished. Did he? Good, good, good. Who did your interior work? Uh, it's actually had to, just had some redo on it, but a fellow by the name from Maryville, Tennessee, Steve Millsaps, done it originally. All right. It's an automatic? Yes, sir. Boy, you just wouldn't think a tow truck, right? But that is one cool... It's a street-rotted tow truck. Yes, sir. That firewall's all smooth and everything's hidden. I mean, it's a street rod. I mean, tow truck. And then look at the underneath. Wow, dude. That's beautiful, man. Do you have any other cars? Yeah, I built a, a tea bucket in 1980 that I still have. And I've always been around show cars. It started with the model cars. And then I went to had a mini bike I showed, and right. it's been a long, long journey. Man. And then, it, I know you're not out towing cars with us, but if you had to, would it tow a car? Yeah, it, this thing was started out originally as a wrecker. Right. So it's, uh, and back here, though, I mean, that looks very simple, but of course it's from yep. the 30s, right? Yep. But crank, that's how it works. Yep, and it cranked, you cranked the car up, and... Uh, that probably separate the men from the boys. Holy cow, you had to use this to jack it up then. <laughs> and them cars were heavy back then. Yeah, it's not as bad as you'd think. <coughs> it has a lot of gear reduction, and it's uh, it's doable, but probably not for a small person or a female, but it's doable. It ain't doable for late model Americans. Back in the day when men were men, right? That's really, right. Yeah, you could That's do exactly it, but right. now we got these metrosexuals running around. They could never do that. Everything's got to be automated. <laughs> Is that one piece of wood in there? I, th uh, I think it was several pieces, and uh, they uh, it's tongue and groove, and they put it all oh, together kind of like a table or something. Right. No, that's awesome, man. All the insides is smoothed out and all. I'm guessing that's been, is that the way it was? It, it, yeah, this bed has been completely remanufactured, but it's similar to the way it originally was. Wow. And I love these fenders, you know? They're like, is that how they were? I mean, they look like they got dovetails or something. Yeah, huh? those fenders were uh, originally like that. Those were remade. This truck was rust-free, but the rear fenders were a little rough, so we had fenders. Those were handmade, and uh, the only thing we changed on, we widened them a little bit to cover the rubber, and then the little swoop in the back is about an inch longer, than it, and that just turned out. Just awesome, did. dude. Yeah, yeah. Playing, it just did. Dude, that's awesome, man. 
I never thought I'd be losing it over a tow truck, but that's one cool tow truck, man. I love it. Is that the, the, is that made out of metal or fiberglass? Metal. The fenders. Metal. Wow. That was quite a task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it, though, right? That's the right way to do it. And then the rest of it's all original. You didn't make any other body modifications. It's not chopped at all or anything no, like that. Because no. it looks like maybe there's just a, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just a cool truck, dude. I'm all over it, man. That is really cool. When I left Knoxville this morning, I didn't think that, you know, one of the highlights of the day was going to be a tow truck. <laughs> at least I hoped it wasn't going to be a tow truck, right? <laughs> this tow truck experience wasn't no kind you use to think. That's right. Man, that is really cool, dude. And again, I love how you got the, got the 302 in there. That's just the right motor to have with this thing. Do you ever get out and drive it? Or you just... Have uh, some of the outdoor shows. I've driven it in now, you know, the right. shows. But I, no, I don't drive it much. No, I don't blame you. I guess if you want to drive a tow truck, tow truck you got plenty of those, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Folks, I just think that's just that's just cool. That's just proof, though. You can street ride and hot ride just about anything with enough imagination and money. You know? But, well, Joel, I appreciate you so much for giving me the time to look at this thing. No problem, Scotty. Glad you could do it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Folks, there you go. 35 Ford Wrecker from World of Wheels Chattanooga 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See you.